Welcome, friends. Welcome back to the kitchen, or I guess you could refer to it as a laboratory. Today, we're gonna treat it like one. I said laboratory, not laboratory. Don't go pee in here. Wow, that was a rough start. Today, we're gonna get our science on. I recently tried something in the kitchen. Not freaky. Okay, get your minds out the gutter. I tried to make deviled eggs recently. I actually did it on my live cooking show on Twitch and it went pretty well. I was pretty blown away with the concept of manufacturing from random ingredients, all plant-based, the texture, the flavor, and the appearance of an egg. In this case, it was a deviled egg. So it was hard boiled, the white, and then the filling was the yolk, I guess you could say. Why are there flies in here? Summer, please end. That's not neat. Sorry, just gonna do some laundry real quick. Nice. All right, that's better. Anyway, I gave it a shot thinking it was gonna taste like a science experiment, and to my complete surprise, it tasted really good. Here it is, just for, well, for the thumbnail, I don't know. Here, we're in Bloody Mary and we got deviled egg. Deviled fake ass egg. I can't believe we made that. Bite time, dink bite. All right, we go. I'm so fucking confused right now, dude. That tastes like a deviled egg. The texture when you bit into it, I think was the only discerning factor that made you realize you weren't actually eating an egg. The rest of the taste and flavors were there. After doing that, I got to thinking, what was I thinking about? I don't know, I was like, let's do it again, but in a different way. So I found a recipe for making a poached egg this time with a yolk that actually runs. And you're making like the whole thing as an object. So you're, you're making the white and then you're making the yolk and you have to do it with one inside of the other. It's gonna be a crazy experiment. Sometimes I like to make fast food here. Sometimes I like to make pantry snacks, desserts, and sometimes I like to just get my science on. And today we're gonna do that. We have a list of very weird ingredients that we're gonna try to put together to make a fake egg white, a fake egg yolk, and turn it into a full on poached egg. And then we're gonna poach the egg and we're gonna see how it turns out. That's my goal. I wanna see if we can even remotely resemble some, something of a poached egg here. I don't know if it's possible, but again, you don't know unless you try, right? So join me in this science experiment that will probably go wrong, but at least we're having fun. Fun. Well, we're gonna cosplay as a chicken here. Start by making an egg. So here we go. Uh, we're gonna start with the yolk. We are gonna put all the yolk ingredients except for the margarine into a blender, a wireless blender and we're gonna blend this up and then we're gonna put it on some heat to get it nice, texturized, the consistency we want, and then we're gonna put it in a bowl and put it in the fridge. All right, we're gonna start with a teaspoon of corn flour. This is whole grain stone ground. I guess you could also use cornstarch, but I'm using corn flour. So this is half a teaspoon, another half, done. Then we're gonna do half a teaspoon of this uh, chicken stock powder, and this is gonna help with the yolky flavor. Yolky. So some of the ingredients that we're using for the yolk are for color and texture, and some are for flavor. So I think the chicken powder and the corn flour, those are for, those are for flavor. This turmeric, I'm pretty sure is just for appearance. We want it to be yellow, so we're gonna put a little bit of turmeric in. I think a fourth a teaspoon is what it calls for. That's about a fourth a teaspoon. And now we're gonna do two teaspoons of nutritional yeast. I'm just gonna go the full tablespoon, maybe a little light, two thirds of a tablespoon, nice. And something I had to special order, some English mustard. Right, we're gonna do a teaspoon of this. There's a heaping half, here's another half. Lastly, we're gonna add a half cup of water and hopefully this will blend up nicely. I don't know. Well, here we have what looks like orange juice and doesn't smell like orange juice at all. I don't know if you can even really tell, but it's just yellow water. So the reason we left out the margarine is because we are going to be 
whisking in the margarine slowly while we heat it. So get your cooktop, pop this sucker on high. Just kidding, don't do that. So we're gonna take a tablespoon of our plant-based butter here and we are going to start with the mixture, okay? So it's like, tur it's like turmeric water is what it looks like. Turmeric, I feel like anytime you add it to a liquid or a solid, it just sort of dominates the color. It's just so potent, it's so yellow. Anyway, as this thickens, we're gonna wanna slowly start to whisk in our margarine or butter. So grab your whisks and get ready to thicken this bad boy up. Supposedly this happens pretty fast. I think it starts to thicken up pretty quickly. It's also not a lot of mixture, so it's not, it doesn't have a lot of work here. All right, it's starting to thicken up. I'm gonna start adding butter. This is about a, a half a tablespoon. I think the butter is sort of kind of providing the fat that an egg yolk generally has. This is absolutely bizarre that I'm boiling a bunch of random ingredients to make an egg yolk. What? Hello? Who am I? All right, we're gonna do the second half of margarine. Tablespoon, that's done. Okay, you can start to see this mixture bubble up and that's, the, that's our cue here. So we're gonna cut the heat, dead ass. Move our butter, get out of here, butter. And we need to get a bowl. We need a bowl. And we are going to slowly and gently pour our egg yolk into a bowl so it can cool. All right, I'll take weird things I never thought I would cook in my kitchen for 500. This is liquid egg yolk that we made from plants. So now we have to cover this and cool it. It's gotta be completely cooled by the time we put it in our poached egg to poach. All right, so we're gonna put some cling paper or wrap, cling wrap, whatever, on the surface. You want to actually have it touching the surface of the yolk. And this is, I believe, to prevent a skin from forming. We want this mixture to stay a mixture and we don't want it to form a skin. So that's kind of what it looks like. I don't know if you can even see. I'm gonna go put this in the fridge so it's, uh, it can cool off. Time to make our egg white. We're gonna take the silken tofu, 10 ounces of it, drop it in the blender. We're gonna do a fourth a teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna measure this with my eyes. And perhaps the most important ingredient for the white here is agar powder. This is sort of plant gelatin, and this is gonna give the texture that we need, uh, sort of like a, a semi-rubbery, kind of like just egg white texture. We're gonna do a teaspoon of this. This is bizarre. One, this is a half a teaspoon measure. So two, that's a teaspoon. And then two tablespoons of our arrowroot starch. I guess we were supposed to use a stick blender or a food processor for this, but maybe the blender will work. Only time will tell. Let us blend. It's blending. Uh, it's making a really not appetizing noise. I don't know. It's, it, all, all we need to do really is get this creamy. We need to get this smooth and creamy, and then it's, it's good to go. It actually looks pretty good. This is what it looks like. Almost like an aioli. It's smooth and creamy, that's for sure. I guess some parts of it could use a little more, a little more love. I feel like an immersion blender would have been the move for this, but we don't got time for that, dude. No time. This would have been so much easier to just lay an egg, dude. Wish I could lay eggs. Okay, it's about to get pretty weird, all right? We have these things. Hello, welcome to Aries Kitchen. I'm Julian. <laughs> They're silicone egg poaching cups, right? These are made for actually poaching eggs. So if you are someone who likes poaching eggs and you don't wanna deal with the method of like swirling the water and keeping it all, this is for you. It's like made easy. We're gonna use this to make our fake poached eggs. So uh, we're gonna scoop, I think, about a, a pretty generous 
tablespoon, maybe a little more, maybe like a tablespoon and a half. This is the weird part. The whole thing is the weird part, but this is really the weird part. And we want to make a well in the middle here, as if we're making pasta. You know when you make pasta, you leave a well in the center where you crack the eggs? Well, we need a well for the yolk. I have no idea if this is gonna work. Like, no idea at all. But digging a well here. I think we'll do two, two at once to increase our chances of success. So that's one. I'm going closer to two tablespoons, just so I have enough getting everywhere. Enough on the bottom, because you don't want the bottom part to be so thin that the yolk will break through the bottom. At least that's what the recipe says. Like two tablespoons of mixture. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a well, and once the yolk mixture is cooled, we're gonna pour a little dollop of the yolk mixture in the center, and that'll be our yolk. And then I think we pour a little more of the white on top, like we spoon a little more on top, so it's completely, the yolk will be completely encapsulated by our fake egg white. Strange recipe, dude, strange. Let's go check on the temperature of our yolk. I'll keep you posted via voice. It feels a little warm still. Definitely feels a little warm still. In fact, I'm gonna flash freeze it. You're going in the freezer, baby. I really hope this works because if this, if this somehow ends up looking even remotely like a poached egg, I think I legally can start practicing science at a very high professional level. I can open up my own science practice. I'm going, I gotta go to science practice. For real though, bizarre, bizarre stuff. I just, I'm really curious to see what happens. Let's heat this baby up. All right, so we're gonna pour some water into our pan. And we're gonna spill water right on top of the cooktop. What is wrong with me? Why am I like this, dude? I don't know how much you're supposed to add. I do know that the pan should have about an inch high of water once the cups are in. So I guess you can use that as a kind of reference point. This is our plate for testing the egg. I'm so excited right now, dude. So the egg yolks are just about at the right temperature, uh, but I wanted to get the water started. Our egg yolk is here. I'm going to, this is not efficient. I'm gonna take about a teaspoon, oh my God, like a teaspoon of the yolk and then a little bit more white to go back on top. Oh man, this is not working because I didn't create a big enough well. Okay, that one sucked. This is a mess. This is what happens when you don't make a big enough well. So we gotta make like a really pronounced well for the yolk to go into. Well, what did I tell you? All right, water, chill out. This is a very delicate recipe here. Holy shit, this is hard. This is hard. Science is hard. All right, I'm trying to cover it now. We're just gonna do our best here, okay? It's all we can do. This is it, just looks like a pile of nothing. And we're gonna place it in the water. Same with this one. And cover our pan here. That's it. Then they're just gonna poach, I guess. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. We will see though. All right, I don't know how they're doing, but I'm just sort of preparing another one in case I wanna try another one later. And I'm doing this like twist method with the spatula to create a well, and it's actually working pretty nicely. You can sort of see that well is forming pretty good. I think one of the tricks also is to not overfill the yolk. As excited as I am to like make a nice yolk, like you can't overfill it. So that'll be my next experimental one if I go again. Let's check on this though. What the hell? What am I cooking? Okay, the water is a little too cool. I think we need it moving. It's not even simmering right now. Oh, the heat wasn't even on. I don't really know how to tell when they're done because I don't know what it's supposed to look like, but it says about 10 minutes of sitting on the heat. It's been about like five. So it's about ready, I think. I'm draining out a little bit of the water. And then I think we just, I think we just plop it down. The silicone should release it. I don't know what happened. Did we do it? Is this it? What the hell? What did we make? Okay, so fair warning. You can see like bits of the yolk came out the bottom. Let's see if any yolk comes out when we cut through the middle. Did it happen? Okay, a little bit. So it didn't quite work out how I thought it would. I don't know if this is because of a ratio problem or if I did it just wrong with the application, but 
I guess we have to try to buy it. Hmm. That is really interesting. It tastes pretty good, actually. It, I don't, it doesn't taste like I remember like an egg actually tasting, but it does have weirdly like a breakfast flavor. I don't know why or where that comes from. I really wish we would have kept the yolk more contained so the yolk can like spill out on the final shot. It doesn't taste bad. I got an idea. I think what I want to do now is I want to take this recipe and add it onto a plate of which contains a full English breakfast. So, how do we do that? Well, we get cooking. A full English breakfast is something that I'm not familiar with, but as far as I know, you need some nice sauteed mushrooms with a little bit of sauteed spinach as well, maybe a little salt and pepper going on both of those. Then of course you need some slices of toast, which I'm just gonna chuck in my toaster and have ready for our fake poached egg to sit on top of. Then we need to grill up a couple slices of tomato because apparently that's a thing. Don't know why, but we go, we do it. We grill the tomato. Also grilling will be our Beyond Bratwurst sausage because I know that a big part of the English breakfast plate is sausage. So we need to cook some sausage. We're gonna use this brat as ours and uh, get a nice brown on it. Uh, so it, it tastes great, but also has a good, nice cooked charred texture. And lastly, of course, we cannot forget our baked beans, which I'm literally just gonna microwave so they're warm and I'm gonna put them on the plate. I don't know how to prepare these beans. I don't wanna burn them, so I'm just gonna heat them up and add them to the plate. And hopefully, once all this comes together, we'll have a full English breakfast plate. Oh wait, here we have it. Look at that. Well, moment of truth. <laughs> there we go. It is our English brekkie full plate of it. Ready to go. We have reached the moment of English breakfast truth. We have our baked beans, our grilled tomatoes, sauteed mushrooms, spinach, sausage, toast, and of course, our fake poached egg made by yours truly, not laid by me, made by me. Dare we try to pop a knife through the yolk and see what happens? Dare we? All right, pay attention. Did it do the thing? I think it looks way better than our first egg attempt. This one, it actually looks like the yolk contained itself inside the white. I think aesthetically, the biggest difference here that we have between our egg and a real one is the, it's like not fully white. It's like almost like an off white. You can sort of see there, but let's grab a fork and dig in to our English breakfast. I've never had this before. A lot of my friends swear by it from the UK and, okay, mushrooms. Okay, spinach. Do I need to try it all together? Let's put half the egg on the other piece of toast. I'm gonna do my best, all right? I don't know how to eat this the right way. Put a tomato on, some beans, piece of sausage. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. Some spinach, oh boy, and some mushrooms. All right, we take a bite. Are you supposed to eat it like a sandwich? I don't know. Okay. Okay, that tastes really good. That tastes really good. Aside from like black beans on huevos rancheros, I've never had beans with breakfast, or at least baked beans. These taste different. They taste different and they hit different. This is bomb. It's like you have the sweetness of some things with like a real smokiness and savory texture and taste to other stuff. Like the sausage is really good. It complements the beans. Grilled tomato, I don't hate it. I really don't hate it. I feel like there's probably a lot of things I did wrong here. Namely, I used an egg that I made from a bunch of random shit, but I also don't know like the proper way to consume this meal. I didn't do research. I'm uneducated. 
but I just wanted to try it because English breakfast is something that you guys have been wanting to see me make for a while. And I figured, you know, while I was making the egg, why not try it? But I am a fan. I am a fan of this breakfast. I can see why you guys love it. Anyway, science experiment, like a three out of five. I wish it would have been more practical. I feel like the, the process of having to make that little well, put the yolk in and be so delicate with it, it just wasn't conducive to creating like a perfect looking egg. Although I knew it was gonna be perfect, so it's fine. It tastes good though. I will say this, this poached egg tastes really good. Don't mind me. Just gonna go eat a proper English breakfast, mate. That was offensive to like three different countries. Anyway, I tried my best. This was a, this was a doozy and I tried my best, but at least we got some tasty food out of it at the end. You know what I mean? That's always a positive. Thank you for joining me. If you tried making this along with me, I hope it turned out better for you than it did for me. Sometimes you gotta just try though. This is a lot of food and I am up to the task. So, now is when you can excuse me. Can I please be excused? Can I please be excused? I wanna take dinner into my room. Kai, Kai, please. Okay, bye.